AI tools are getting incredibly realistic. Halo Zero 2, which just came out recently, is getting a lot of attention for how it handles body physics and prompt precision. But how does it compare to the cinematic realism of VO3? In this video, we're putting them both to the test with high speed flips, kicks, dives, and more. Let's see which AI handles the motion the best. I'm Barnabas from ACT AI Creative Tools. If you're here to create and not just to watch content, you're in the right place. Today it's VO3 versus Halo 2. We use the exact same prompts to push these models in the use of extreme motion, testing them with flips, kicks, and more. Apparently Halo Zero 2 is great at following prompts and physics, whereas VO3 is great for creating voices and sound effects and cinematic looks in video. But how will they fare when it comes to the raw action prompts that we're gonna put in today? Let's see. So here we are inside of Flow for VO3, and we're gonna put in the text to video prompt. I'm gonna make sure that it's set to just one output, and we're gonna go for VO3 best quality with audio and create. So here we are in the Halo platform, and we're in the text to video part of Halo. And this is the new Halo Zero 2 video model, and I'm just gonna paste in the prompt there, and just generate one image with a new zero two and at 1080p and just six seconds. So VO3 is finished already and the time it took me to copy and paste the prompts, which is a couple of minutes or less for both platforms, five prompts into VO3 and five prompts into Halo. VO3 had already finished the first prompt and now the second one is finished and the third one looks like it's about to finish now. So Halo is a little bit slower than VO3 in terms of prompt speed. So this is the first clip by VO3. So we're just looking for the realism in the jump and the landing and the camera tracking and stability and the background consistency in those two shots. And I'd say that for me, VO3 comes out on top there because with VO3, what we had is he just looks fantastic as a beautiful cinematic shot. The jump goes over, he lands the shot, then he does this backwards jump. It looks physically completely good to me. The second guy makes the jump, also looks fantastic cinematically, but then he's just like jumping tits. You know, who knows where he's going? We don't know what happens next. But personally, I think that VO3 looked better and wins it on that shot. Let's try the next one here. So we've got VO3. So on the VO3 shot, the splash happened before the guy even hit the water. So that was no good. And in the Halo shot, it was fantastic. Everything was consistent. As the guy hit the water, the splash happened. And for me, in that one, Halo wins. So that's 1-1. One, one. So in the bike shots there, they were both really good shots. And it was more of a follow shot on the... VO3 shot here, which is fantastic. Whereas on the Halo shot, it was like a fixed shot, which was good still as well, but not as exciting and dynamic as VO3. So they're both good shots, but for me, VO3 wins in that one as well. So it's 2 1 to VO3. So on the street dancing shot, VO3 was just morphing all over the place. I don't know what was going on there. It was hard to tell whether it was head or legs or just legs going around. And then on the Halo model, it was, it was a good shot, but he was just spinning on a string, which wasn't really what I intended. I wanted him to be kind of doing like some kind of move where they do street dancing, but it was definitely the winner there. So that's 2-2. Two, two. So this is the decider shot on text to video. So on the final shot there with the wingsuit, the VO3, everything looked good. He was flying forwards. It looked fantastic. And 
The shot looked good on Halu as well, except for the fact that he was going down feet first instead of head first, which I've never seen a wingsuit man do that. I don't know if they can do that, but I don't think so. They normally go head first, so it's got to be given to VO3 on that one, and Halo didn't do a good job on that one in terms of making it so he's going head first like he should be. So we're going to do image to video comparison now of the two tools, VO3 and Halo. So here we are inside of ingredients, and we're going to grab the two images here the grey hood fighter, I'm going to grab him and you have to crop it in if your image isn't the right aspect ratio. So VO3 loses on the account of image to video because at the UK in the moment it won't allow you to upload realistic images of people to create image to video. Now we're going to do image to video inside of Halo and going to click to bring in the images that you saw at the beginning of this video which is the grey hooded fighter and I'm going to use this enhance button to help with enhancing the prompt. So over in the grey hooded fighter does a classic street fighter move with a flying kick and I'm going to get it to enhance that prompt. Let's up that to 1080. Generate. Now I'm going to do another example with the guy on the beach. So I wanted to try something a bit different. A street fighter does an amazing flying kick, street fighter style, lands and then backflips. Let's see how well it can do that. Let's have a look. And both of those shots look really fantastic to me. There was very good consistency throughout the video, good dynamics and fantastic. So I think Halu is a really good model, but it didn't really over win overall. It can win obviously in terms of image to video, it wins hands down because VO3 won't even let you do realistic looking humans in the UK from image to video. But in text to video, it goes to VO3 on this example today, which I'm surprised because I was expecting Halo to win. One quick thing I want to share with you is on the Halo website, they have this quick prompt formula guide, which is really handy for a basic prompt, giving you the idea here that name your main subject, your scene and your motion. So for instance, a puppy runs in the park. So let's look at their precise formula prompt here. They've got main subject, scene, motion, camera movement, aesthetic. And they've got a couple sits on a park bench communicating. The camera maintains the fixed shot of the couple. The color tone of the picture is warm. The atmosphere is cozy. So let's talk about pricing. So VO3 is $250 a month to get access to it within Flow. Whereas in Halo, you have an option from $9.99 all the way up to $124 a month with the Ultra plan. And there's different things that are available and not available within each of these plans which I'll leave you to have a look at here. But one of those things is that to get the 10 second generations within Halo in this platform, you need to go on the, at least the $35 a month plan. So you've seen the results, which AI did a better job? VO3 has that amazing cinematic look and creates incredible music and sound effects that make the prompt really come alive. Halo is responsive to the prompts and creates amazing action scenes, really nailing the motion in those scenes. So if you want polished dramatic scenes, VO3 is your go-to, but if you want raw energy, fast action, moving scenes that adhere to physics, then Halo 02 is your go-to model. Which AI model impressed you the most? Let me know in the comments below and let me know if there's any other AI model that I should be looking at. I haven't looked at Higgles Field yet, which I've heard a lot of people speaking a lot about. And if you'd like to get more hands-on with AI tools, you're in the right place. Check out the pinned comment below where we have a free community for people who want to get more hands-on using the latest AI creator tools. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe, give it a like, and I'll see you in the next video very soon.